Okay, everybody, this is Bud Brown living in Dumaguete City, Philippines. This is my uh, latest vehicle. I bought it about a year ago. It's called the, uh, <laughs> what is it called? Rusko Caruza. Rusko is the brand name, Caruza. Caruza is a model. That's just a little three wheel because uh, Rusko makes uh, motorcycles. Street and uh, sc scooters and other vehicles but anyway the Caruza is what this is several people have asked me what do I think about it I've had it about a year now and I'm gonna tell you the straight straight up the good and the bad and the ugly first of all I like the looks of it um, I like these big uh, rearview mirrors I don't know if you can see it, but I like the big tires. Now we're comparing this with the uh, local tuk-tuk uh, called the uh, Bajaj. Uh, my friend Ed Shearer had a, I don't, know, I don't think he still does, but anyway, had a Bajaj and we compared it and made a video, actually two parts, called Tuk-Tuk uh, Wars. And he told what he liked about his, and I told what I liked about mine. But there's a few things that I don't care about it. The main difference between, uh, the, re or the main reason that I got the Caruza instead of the Bajaj was the transmission shifter. Here's a transmission shifter on the Caruza. Just exactly like the scooters and motorcycles here left foot five shifts down, that's five gears down, and then five up, and then there's a neutral. It also has, I don't know if you can see it here, a uh, reverse gear. So I like the reverse gear, that's really handy. The Bajaj, the, the transmission shifter is on the left hand, so you're driving and you go up first, second, third, fourth, or maybe just the opposite, but anyway, five gears turning the left wrist. Now someone maybe who's never ridden a motorcycle before and they tell you that's the way to do it, maybe no problem. But someone who's ridden motorcycles all their life, all my, and I've all, all my teenage and adult years, I've had motorcycles and it's always been on the left So that was uh, the main point for me of getting the uh, Caruza, the shift. Uh, it's got a, the engines are the same, 200 and then the back, well, let me put that. The engines are the same size, 200 cc. Uh, and most scooters here are 100, 125, maybe 150. Now my chariot, the old uh, farm vehicle that I had before this was 175, but this is at 200 cc. The part I don't like, the engine is in the front. Bajaj, the engine is in the back, but the cruiser, the engine is here, just like a motorcycle, and you gotta kick your leg over it, or you gotta get in like this. So consequently, you've got noise here. You're in a box, and so it's kind of difficult to talk to your passenger. If I'm by myself, of course, it's not a problem. Easy to talk to myself. <laughs> but normally I'm with my wife, Gloria. She sits in the back. So either I have to pull over and we have to talk about what we want to talk about, I'm going like, what'd you say, and what da da So that part I, didn't, I don't care about. Also, because of the engine, I believe, because the engine's up here, it'll get warm inside. Now, this one has, uh, we put insulation in the top, it seems to, seems to help. But I'm not gonna go through uh, all the features of it because I already did it once. <laughs> another video so if you haven't seen that one go there and 
and you'll see about the high and the low and the and uh, other and about the back seat that turns down and this and that but I wanted to, uh, the bottom line is this somebody said would you buy it again and the answer is yes I would definitely buy it again I would definitely buy it again although I did see that the newest model in uh, the Rusco dealership had all the features that I liked the transmission on the left foot but they took away the th features that I didn't like they took away the engine here and they put it back there so I think if I were to buy it again I'd buy the new model also this is a little bit cheaper cost than the Bajaj. judge I think we paid hundred and fifty thousand uh, pesos which is about three thousand dollars so that's it. it needs to be cleaned up but I like to I like to keep a fine protective layer of dust over all the surfaces but other than that I'm ready to go riding and I oh now when I first got it I did have trouble the clutch uh, cable came out and it needed to be tied down and or tightened and then it a few, a few days later it came out loose again oh, that was a hassle but they always fix it and they fix it for free so now it's been many months and I've had no problem whatsoever with the clutch clutch cable okay that's it so everybody hope you have a good day talk to you later bye bye